first thing we want to do is we want to make a new folder. I'm going to name this folder iPod Music and Backup. You can name it anything you want. So let's just move it out of the way. And then we're going to go to our iPod. Here I have one. Let's open it up. And you're going to see some files in a folder. So let's go to Organize, Folder and Options, the View, and check Show Hidden Files. So that we can see the hidden files. Go to iPod Control, Music, and there's all the music here that are coded. So we want to select all of these. This is what we want. So let's go ahead and copy the folder into the iPod Music Backup. You could also drag and drop the folder into the iPod Music Backup. That way we have a copy. So now all of our files are backed up that was on the iPod. So just give it a second. I'm just going to speed it up a little. So let's go in. Let's go to the music. Go to properties and uncheck the hidden and the read only. Yours might not be checked, but just uncheck them anyway, hit OK, and apply these changes to the folder and the sub the subfolders and files. Make sure that's checked, that way we can see them. And we can go in and we can click a file just to make sure everything is unhidden. So let's uh, open iTunes. Let me grab it off my other screen here. All right. Make sure the sync music is checked and select the playlist. And as you see, I didn't have any playlist selected. So let's go to the folder where we have our backup. Select our music. We're going to search because we want to grab these music files out of the folder. So type in search.mp3 in that folder and control A and click and drag right onto the library. You'll see it light up as blue. Now it is adding as you see there. Scroll down. <clears throat> Make sure our music is added. And as we click recently added music, there the music is located. Let's click one and make it play. So just search, just to make sure that the file is in our music library. And it played. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and check the recently added so it will add the playlist to the iPod. I'm going to hit apply. And there it goes, adding. And 
it may take a while depending on how much music you have. And if it asks if you want to transfer music, purchase music from iTunes, go ahead and accept that. Say yes. That way, uh, any music you purchase from iTunes will transfer over. So let's go ahead and eject the iPod. Once again, we're just going to go and look. Make sure our music's there. There's some music that I've fixed, but the, the recently added is there. And there's uh, an album, album cover. Some album covers uh, can be downloaded, some can't, depending on where you got them from. But uh, you can go ahead and uh, go to iTunes and download your album artwork. It may take a while again, depending on how much music you have. you enjoyed the tutorial if you would like to request a tutorial uh, just go ahead and shoot me an email or leave it on my YouTube channel and thanks for watching <laughs>